Welcome to the second step in posting to the ledger from the journals. The first step was setting up the ledgers with chart of accounts numbers and opening balances. The second step is the cash receipts journal. If you'd like to right click, worksheet object and open. I've hidden the first part because we don't need it with the trial balance. So this is the cash receipts journal and that's what we're going to post. To start with, this is the tidy way of doing it. He found an accurate way which will help us. We're going to type DR underneath the bank account and CR under everything else. Except the other column and we'll do these ones on the side. CR and CR. So we're going to debit bank and credit the other accounts. So our bank account is our first one going to our bank account because it's a column in its own right we type the last date and that's the 7th of March and we'll type receipts tells us in that we're going to debit it so in the debit column type equals click on that figure and we'll get a running total is our opening balance plus our debit will give us how much is in our bank account and the debit it's still an asset. Finish that one off, I'll just highlight to say that I've finished it. Next one is GST. Now GST is tricky because there are two items. You may have to insert a row there by going through right clicking and going insert and shifting down if not already done on yours. So for this one we've got GST, we've got a credit to the GST and that'll happen on the 7th but we're going to leave a gap because you can see there's something here on the 6th so we'll leave a gap and on the 7th we'll type bank and it tells us we're going to put it in the credit column 321.53 I won't worry about doing the balance part of that yet completed posting that though next one sales Sales, we'll find the sales ledger here. We're going to credit it by 1517 because it's a column, end date, type balance, I mean bank, and we've set in the credit column equals 1517.39, enter. And we'll get a running total. Just type credit as well. Done that one. Next one is classes, another form of revenue, credit 591. It's a column, so it gets the last date, type bank, credit column equals 59130, and add those two up. Still an income, so we've still got credit here. Highlight that one to see we've done it. Then we go down the side, the other. The other columns for things that don't have their own column and we use a date that it happens. So at the 5th of March we've got equipment. So here's equipment, 5 slash 3 bank, here's particulars and it's told us here that we've created equipment. That's because we sold it and the value of the equipment. It's a debit and a credit so we've got a debit. We sold it so we're going to minus it but it's still an asset so it's still a debit on this part and we'll highlight that so it's done and the last one here is interest this is our interest received which is here the date it happened was the 7th of March bank credit and that'll add on to this 204 plus 12 credit again and Right, we haven't quite finished because anything in the other column also needs a chart of account number here. So we've got to type in the chart of accounts for equipment. We'll reference it equals and click here 120 chart of accounts for equipment and interest. This is interest received. That's it. That's the end of posting the cash receipts journal. Next video is a cash payments journal. Again, if you'd like to check the answers are in the next sheet.